This is iNet Mania, a game for those of us who work or who have worked in the dot-com industry. Especially for those of us who worked in the dot-com biz when it was new back in the late 90s and early 2000s. Back when it really sucked. Not that it doesn't suck today, but back then it was like a new kind of sucking. This game reminds me of 1999 when I started Classic Game Room. And a lot of the stuff in here is, is very similar, like when you spend money for marketing and it goes nowhere, you get stuck, you run out of money, people quit, and you watch all of your hard work, time, money, effort, and ideas get vaporized into thin air. Good times. This is a board game that you can play against the computer or some friends on the iPod Touch or iPhone. I find it a little slow when playing against the computer. This would be far more fun to play against some friends who have been through the same dot-com experiences because it packs a few laughs, and if you like board games, this is a pretty neat board game. Personally, I prefer to blow things up with spaceships, but let's take a look at iNet Mania here. My favorite part of the game is the slump cards, where you draw cards and bad things happen to you, like servers get hacked, people quit, the object of the game is to gain visitors and earn money. You can see that on the top of the screen. You land on paydays. Sometimes you can double your visitors. Other times you lose all of them. You can spend money for marketing and hopefully get a return or watch all your money vanish. The game is very straightforward and you shake the iPod as if you were shaking your dice around in a glass and then roll it. It's a neat concept for those of you who like board games, who have been in the dot-com biz, and it is well made. And like most iPod games, it's super affordable, and packs entertainment on the go. iNet Mania. Every time I played the game, it felt like I landed on the slump card every other turn, which is probably the most realistic part of the game. Because I'm pretty sure that for 99% of us who worked in the dot-com business, nothing, nothing went right the first time around. If it's one thing I've learned in my years of doing dot-com and computer work, it's that human beings and computers do not get along. 